Good morning, you guys. So, all right, so I have decided today I was like, enough is enough. I am going to start watching what I eat. I'm not just gonna put garbage into my mouth anymore. I'm going to be very conscious of what I'm doing because I am, I need to get in shape and my health depends on it. I've started taking all of the vitamins, um, especially with my health scare, which by the way, yes guys, it is still going on. Um, I still have that pain in my chest. I have um, been to the chiropractor several times um, and I'm gonna continue to go see my chiropractor. Um, I have an appointment tomorrow morning to um, see my regular doctor as much as I don't wanna go into the office right now, I have to. Um, to see if I need some like ultrasounds. I just basically, I want it ruled out that it's any kind of cancer so that I don't live like day to day with this mental stress. Um, and I wanna know how to truly fix it because it's like having a Charlie horse in my chest, a burning Charlie horse in my chest at all times that kind of radiates into my armpit and like up into my neck. So I need answers and um, I feel that it's really important that I go in and, and get it taken care of. So anyways, um, with that being said, like it just has been like a super big wake up call for me. Like not that I was eating unhealthily, like super unhealthily, you know that like Mike and I, we eat pretty paleo, keto, like that's how we eat. Um, but like recently it's just more so been like gluten free so i don't really watch my carb count i don't really watch like i'll have a piece of bread here and there as like a cheat um but this last week and a half has been really bad and i just literally i just will put whatever garbage into my mouth that i feel like um but with like what's going on with my health it's just been a wake-up call like i really need to take care of myself i need to do everything i can to like prevent anything bad from happening thanks buddy um so, and then like taking good supplements, things like that. Um, I've done a lot of research on my supplements. I actually used to work at a vitamin um, place. I don't know what you want to call it, but um, it was local to my area. And my favorite, um, my favorite vitamins and essential oils are the Now brand. Um, I really love those. And then somebody tipped my husband off onto Thorn. Um, so we have Thorn um, vitamins and now essential, or like now vitamins. Love them, um, except for my prenatal. Like I always take a prenatal all the time. That's what my multi is, just in case I get pregnant, then I don't have that stress on me. Um, but my multi is just like the nature's made. Um, it's the nature's made prenatal plus DHA is what it is. It's super simple, um, but I take that prenatal in the morning every single morning and then i also will take um vitamin e oil because um vitamin e is really good for your skin it's really good for your heart um and it's something that i feel that i don't get a whole ton of in my diet something i will be adding to my mor morning regimen is a vitamin d vitamin d is also something that um in minnesota oh my gosh okay Riker's sticking my other tripod down the vent be right back Anyways, I'm gonna be adding a vitamin D supplement to my morning regimen just because in Minnesota, especially during the winter time, we do not get enough vitamin D. Um, in order for calcium and vitamin D to be absorbed, um, absorbed efficiently, there we go, um, you have to take the two and two together. So, anyways, just a little tip there. But I will be taking vitamin D. Um, in the mornings, I also have, um, especially like during cold and flu season and COVID-19 season, I've been having uh, just a little extra kick of um, vitamin C. So this is emergency. Be careful, guys, because this does have some carbohydrates in it. I believe there's like, mm, like three or four grams of carbs in here. So I have to consider this almost like a treat to myself, which is silly, but um, the carbs, um, I've really been trying to watch the carbs. I'm trying to stay under 20 net carbs a day. So. When you're doing that, that can like have a huge effect. Um, whatever. So that's my morning regimen. Um, and then I've also been taking an antibiotic for the rest of that sinus infection that I've had. Seriously, my health has just been like in the garbage. Um, so it 
At night is when I take the most vitamins. Um, I take D Manos because back in the day, I used to, back in the day, I used to get recurrent UTI um, infections and they were so bad that they were antibiotic resistant to like everything except for one antibiotic. So I started to self treat. It got so bad to the point where like they wanted to have me on antibiotics for a whole month, like 30 days of antibiotics. And I basically like gave them the finger and I said, screw you because I know that that would have wreaked havoc on my body. And I wanted to try to find a more like natural way of fixing this issue. I'm sorry, Mike and my sister are blowing up my phone. Um, anyway, so I have been taking Diamantos for a long time. If I feel like I'm getting an infection, I will take like three or four um, Diamantos pills three times a day, and then that will kick it in the bud. Um, just for like maintenance though, I will um, take approximately two Diamantos pills a day. Again, I get my... Um, the majority of my vitamins and supplements from now and my demanos is from now um the demanos i would say changed my life um so i highly recommend if you have recurrent uti or kidney infections like i do um kind of bouncing off the kidney issues um i I take potassium now I take again the now, now brand like potassium and that will help kind of curb any kidney stones it helps like ward off kidney stones is what potassium to potassium has like so many um, benefits if you guys are wondering why I'm so like passionate about this I went to three years of dietetic school and I worked for a vitamin company and I used to be a trainer at the Y all of the things so I'm very passionate about like health and I almost said finance <laughs> I am I am passionate about finance too, but I'm very passionate about health um, Which is why and I have no, some knowledge on it. I'm not saying I'm an expert. I am not an expert I am not a healthcare professional So I'm just saying I've got some background to knowledge in this um, And this is what I have worked with my primary care physician to set up for myself for a good um, health regimen for myself so again Please don't go out and do any of this without talking to your doctor because I am not a healthcare professional. So, and I'm not claiming to be whatsoever, but very just like general good tips um, and like why I take these vitamins. So anyways, onto the potassium. Um, a lot of people don't, um, when I was in school, we learned that potassium is like one of those minerals that, what's up? Um, I, I, I talking about your vitamin channel. My vitamin channel. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, sorry, I'm munching on some ham. I'm going to eat the rest of that ham, even if I throw up. Okay. Anyways, so potassium is um, an electrolyte that a lot of people. Um, don't get enough of now the pills that i take are literally like two percent of my daily value but i just make sure that i eat um your really like dark leafy greens those are gonna that's gonna have potassium in it bananas have potassium in it i just like to take a couple of extra potassium pills about 200 milligrams of potassium every single day at night just to kind of help ward off kidney stones um, and bring my electrolytes to balance. I also take the Magnesium Calm um, drink at night and that is carb free, um, but I, it's like a really yummy raspberry lemonade. It's good and I put some ice in it so that it's like, it's kind of like my treat at night, um, but that really helps with my anxiety and um, Magnesium, it, it, there's, you know, I'm just gonna leave a link down below for you guys. There's so many benefits um, to having proper magnesium levels in your body down below. Okay, and then I also started taking um, turmeric and curcumin, turmeric, curcumin. It's pronounced so many different ways. I remember when I was working at the vitamin company, everybody pronounced it, pronounced it differently. So. Um, and then it also has a little bit of ginger in there as well. Um, I started taking that because, um, so turmeric, turmeric has 
really awesome anti-inflammatory properties. Um, and with my chest thing that's going on, um, it's definitely an inflammatory issue. Something's going on. Um, so I started taking that. Happy baby. So, anywho, um, I've also, like, I'm just watching, like, more of these things that I'm putting into my mouth. I started to go keto. And with... With that with that diet, I usually will lose about 10 to 15 pounds a month. It's pretty it's pretty dramatic. Um, no, you can't have that crabby boy. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just got to making my lunch. I made um, homemade ranch. Um, it's like dump ranch. I'll leave a recipe down below. I didn't have an immersion blender though, so I had to like slowly blend and emulsify this. Um, it took me a long time, but totally worth it. Um, I've got some cut up ham, trying to use the rest of that ham. Um, tomatoes, green peppers, um, red onions, a little bit of shredded cheese on top of like a spring mix. And this is what I'm having for lunch, along with the rest of my coffee, and then a whole thing of water in my Yeti mug right here. Okay, so now it is like four o'clock. Um, like you guys saw, um, for my breakfast, I had like t like I had three ounces of leftover Easter ham um, with two eggs, and then for lunch I had like spring greens with like a homemade ranch recipe. Again, I'll have that link down below for you guys. Um, and now it is like four o'clock in the afternoon, um, and I'm having a um, matcha milkshake. Um, I didn't have any oat nut milk in the house, so I had to use regular milk, which is gonna put my carbs up a little bit. But um, I'm not just watching my carbs, I'm also trying to watch like um, good, like high quality, like nutrition ingredients too. Um, let me go grab the matcha that I'm using in this milkshake, um, because it is really good. It's really good, hang on. Okay, so this is what I'm using. This is um, the Reserve Matcha Blast Latte Mix. This is really good. Um, actually, the company sent me this and I just haven't gotten around to using it, um, but I've been doing lots of research, like ever since like the health stuff coming up with like my chest and me just like having this epiphany, I'm like I just need to take better care of myself. Um, I actually found that um, that matcha and um, lion's mane are really good for you. And I was like, hey, I think I have um, a matcha like latte in my cupboard. So like I said, the company did send me these, but anyways, so I just like remembered that I had these, got around to using them, um, and I am blown away. I thought it was gonna be, oh, I don't know, like anything green, I can just like taste it. But this is really good, um, especially with milk. I think with oat nut milk, it would be even better. Um, anyways, it is really good. Um, I think the reason why it tastes so good is because it has organic coconut milk powder and organic monk fruit in it. Um, so matcha boosts metabolism, increases energy levels, and supports the immune system. Lion's mane um, is a mushroom known to boost brain, heart, and gut health, along with strong anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and immune boosting abilities. Again, with the anti-inflammatory, um, just like with what's going on, um, super, super um, helpful in my case. Packed, um, and then it also has organic blueberry powder, which is packed with antioxidants, helps reducing blood pressure and support muscle strength. Um, organic inulin, um, which is a prebiotic powder, powder found from chicory, chicory roots, is that how you pronounce that? Um, used for hundreds of years to improve gut and heart health. So, um, I mean, it has a lot of really good stuff in it, and I'm gonna have to say that I will be buying another box of this because this is really good, like really good. And Mike is like a, an avid Joe Rogan fan, which if you didn't hear me like mention the thorn, um, the thorn vitamins earlier, that's he listened to Dr. Rhonda Patrick on Joe Rogan, um, and that's why he um, has us on thorn supplements, but. Also, Joe Rogan talked about um, lion's mane a little bit too, Mike said, and like talked about like how awesome 
like the um, the brain and body boost was um, in regards to the lion's mane. So anyway, um, just an interesting tidbit had nothing to do with why I have this um, matcha blast latte stuff, but nonetheless, um, I'm willing to try anything um, to try and like boost my health and my body. Um, again, I have, an, I have a doctor appointment tomorrow morning um, to go over like what's going on here But of course like my brain like goes straight for cancer and I'm like, oh, I like need to take care of myself um, Because I live a very like high stress life So I'm working on like the mental side as well Like what are some things that I can cut, cut down on so that I'm less stressed out? Um, I really push myself to like the very like limit because I'm so entrepreneurial and I'm so passionate, like especially about like YouTube stuff. I've kind of put YouTube on the back burner for a while. I'm still uploading obviously, but I had put it on the back burner. Um, but YouTube makes me really happy. I just have to like get on a right schedule so that I'm not uploading and editing every single day um, or every other day. But anywho, um, I'm gonna drink this and then I am gonna prep supper here in a little bit and show you guys what that looks like. This is what I'm having for dinner tonight. I've got six ounces of steak, four and a half ounces of shrimp. Uh, I had two and a half ounces of potatoes and this bear guess. Good morning guys. Okay, so it is bright and early in the morning. I'm making breakfast. I'm sharing my what I eat in a day with you guys today. I've got some other footage that I wanted to share. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions in regards to um, what I've been doing to lose weight. I always get questions in regards to that. I also stop and start my diets very quickly. Um, not my diets, my lifestyles. And sometimes I don't change my lifestyle. Like I eat fairly gluten-free, like low carb, whatever. Um, but um, I'll just eat like massive amounts of that. So. Um, this week I'm just like tracking things on my fitness pal again and I've really cut down my carbs. I've really kicked up my nutrition. I have knocked out like there was like a good like almost month period where I was eating like I was eating like whatever I wanted to um, and that was because of the quarantine to be honest with you um, because I had like a bunch of um, dry goods and non-perishable items so i was trying to eat those up and use those up um now that i know <laughs> now that i have some fresh groceries in the house um i am eating a lot healthier um in the past two weeks i have lost um mommy, just about mommy, six pounds mommy, mommy. my goodness sakes the show stops for like one second <laughs> we've been on a kick with dino dana um, anyway, so I've lost six pounds in the past two weeks. So just want to share with you guys like what I've been doing to lose that weight. All right, my oven is an absolute mess per usual. Um, but I've got a tablespoon of butter in here. I've got two sausage patties back here. And I'm about to, we get our eggs from one of the guys at Mike's Works. So we get farm fresh eggs every week. Um, and I'm gonna have two eggs, and Kaya and Riker will have two eggs and share. They're also having cereal. One of those sausage patties, I'll split that in half for them. Um, and then I will show you guys my vitamins that I take in the morning. All right, so five eggs because Kaya cracked an extra one, so the kids will have three, and then I will have two. Um, and then I'm also going to and then I'm also going to cut up an orange to have for breakfast and I'm just going to have one slice of this to get some vitamin C in and then I'll give the rest to the kids. And coffee. So this is what I have for coffee every single morning. Um, I've been doing that, let's see if we can get it to focus, I've been doing that whipped coffee. Um, I do not add sugar to it, I just do two tablespoons of um, instant coffee and two tablespoons of hot water and I turn my KitchenAid mixer on high until it's nice and thick and foamy. Um, I think because I don't have the sugar in here, it tends to like, do you see how it's not as thick right now? It's more so like thin and bubbly. Um, once I add it to the milk, it gets a lot more thin and bubbly without the sugar, um, but it still keeps it foamy. I'm definitely like one of those people 
I just like cold foam like on my coffee. Um, and then I also have a cup of um, whole milk underneath here. Um, I'm trying to cut out, oh, that lighting is terrible. Okay, I have a cup of whole milk underneath here. Um, I am trying to cut out dairy, but um, I need to find um, like an oat milk or almond milk that I can like stand. Most of them get too slimy for me. Um, so I'm trying to cut the dairy out, but this is where I'm at right now. This does take up a lot of my carbs for the day, unfortunately. Um, but this is about as carby as it gets. This and my, um, my lunch kale smoothie are pretty full of carbs, but, um, yeah, but not too bad. Um, considering that I could have something super sugary and gross, but, um, this is what I've been having every single morning and it's been doing the trick for me. I haven't had Starbucks in quite a while and this has been holding me over. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I've lost like six pounds in the last two weeks from doing this um, or just like really honing in my nutrition. I know a lot of that is likely just water weight, um, but I'm happy with it. Um, Anyway, sorry, I'm just like, I'm like super tired this morning. I'm like trying to, I'm trying to wake up. Um, I have, so my sausage patties underneath my eggs. So I've got two eggs and then I've got two um, orange slices. And then um, I have my coffee um, and that is gonna help me wake up for show. Um, it is morning, so I am going to take my vitamins. Um, in the morning, I take vitamin E. Um, which I'm actually gonna cut out. I've decided um, because I'm gonna start doing collagen instead, just add it to my smoothies. Um, that's what I take in the morning and then I have a huge thing of water. So that's what I am going to have for my breakfast this morning. Usually I'll do an emergency packet as well, um, but I think I've been consuming too much vitamin C. So I am going for the natural form and having a couple of orange slices. And again, with the low carb, I know that oranges aren't low carb, but if an orange is what is gonna break my diet, then we have an issue. Um, anyways, I'm trying to be more lenient and flexible with um, adding a few fruits to my diet um, to um, get some really good whole raw nutrients. Metro channel, metro channel, guess what? What? Metro, metro, you don't eat those diet cookies. Oh, don't eat the diet cookies? If you guys haven't seen my other video with um, the keto cookies that I got, I will leave that linked over here for you. Um, and I'll probably have a couple of them tonight. We've gone through two like little bags of them already. Um, but Kaya always wants some and she can't have them because, yeah, so, okay. Well, I, I only can have... Okay, so I just got done having lunch, which was a kale smoothie. Um, I did not record it because Mike was home um, and I was talking to him about um, the smoothie and like making him a smoothie. But um, I put a couple of teaspoons of wheatgrass powder in there, um, a couple teaspoons of spirulina, um, and then I add a couple of tablespoons of chia seeds. Um, and then if I go into the fridge, I will show you guys. I also add, I recently just started adding um, organic hemp hearts. Um, I got this off of Amazon, but um, one of my other favorites is from Trader Joe's. Um, this is, I mean, so good. I showed you guys this in my little like Amazon health haul the other day. Um, such good nutrition and adds like a like yummy nutty flavor. Um, and then, and then I also add um, frozen kale. I just take like my fresh kale and I freeze it um, because um, it's like, I don't know, it's so much better than like the frozen kale you can buy in like the little bags. Um, anyway, so just freeze kale. I put about two cups in there and then I will add, um, ooh, I will add like eight whole strawberries and then I add um, four tablespoons of lemon juice um this is just like the walmart version i tried to get like the real lemon um and actual lemons but they were out of stock at my walmart um oh scared me my ice just went down um bah! so i get um i got the lemon juice and there's no carbs there's like nothing in it 
Um, so I have four tablespoons of that. Um, I add a couple cups of water, um, just like on the bottom of, um, I use like my Ninja blender, um, my big one, so that I can make a whole ton at one time. Um, and then I add a handful of fresh blueberries. Um, sometimes I won't add the blueberries, but I've had blueberries on hand, so I've been using those. And then I also add um, about a half a banana, um, usually frozen banana, but today was fresh because I didn't have any frozen bananas left. Usually like before my bananas go bad, I'll just cut them up and freeze them. So um, anyways, and then I fill up a whole mason jar with this. It doesn't taste like an Orange Julius, guys. It's not meant to. It's just, it's super healthy. Um, it's about 200 and 30 calories, 250 calories um, per mason jar. It will make two of these, so it'll fill up two mason jars. Sometimes I'll have the whole thing, and it's like around 600 calories, um, but it has like, if I do the full, because I did like a recipe in my fitness pal, and the full um, cup has, I'm gonna show you guys here on my fitness pal what the nutrition looks like. Okay, so, I added the ingredients onto my fitness pal um, and it has, so total is 532 calories. Um, this is higher in carbs, but to me these are good carbohydrates. Um, they're coming from whole food. Um, it's coming from um, strawberries, bananas, blueberries. The kale has carbs in it. Um, and actually the wheatgrass and the spir spirulina um, and hemp hearts have um, some carbohydrates in there as well. But it has 532 calories. Um, and I'll just show you guys like a close up here of like the macros. Um, so carbohydrates, 61.7 grams. Um, the fat content is awesome. This is like really good fat content. Um, it's 35% fat content and it's 23.3 grams um, and then the protein like for a shake 36.3 grams of protein from this shake which is awesome now like getting into some of the micros um, very low sodium only 200 milligrams of sodium um, the net carbs um, if you consider the fiber is 38 grams um, and then only 19 grams of that is coming from um, like natural sugars. Obviously the strawberries, the banana, and the blueberries have um, sugar in them, natural sugar. Um, and then calcium is 392% of your daily value. Iron is 85%, potassium is 1400 milligrams, which is insane. Um, Vitamin A is 750%, vitamin C 380%. Um, so this is why I have cut out my emergency in the mornings is because I'm getting everything that I need from this shake. Now this is for a whole serving, even if you cut it in half, um, the vitamin C is still like upwards of 160% of your daily value. Vitamin A is like 325% of your daily value. Um, you're looking at 700 milligrams of potassium, about 40% of your iron, and about 200% of your calcium for the day, um, and would be around 20 grams of, like 18 grams of protein. Um, carbohydrates, so the net on that, if I did half, would be about, let's see, 38, so about like, um, about 18-ish grams as well of carbohydrates. Um, fat would be, um, and this was all polyunsaturated, monounsaturated, um, the total fat would be right around like 12 grams of fat. Um, and like I said, around like 260, uh, like 250 for calories. Um, a really, really good boost to my day. It gives me a lot of energy. Like I would say almost as much energy as my coffee gives me. So um, I will do, um, I will do this when I like have that afternoon slump and it definitely boosts me. I've noticed um, the past few nights between like my supplements and this kale smoothie that I've been having troubles getting to sleep because I just have so much energy. So I'm going to try and cut out, um, since I'm getting so many good whole food nutrients from this kale smoothie, I think I'm going to try and cut down on, um, some of the other vitamins that I've been taking. Um, so I'm, 
I'm kind of toying with that right now. I'm just messing with my nutrition, seeing how my body reacts. Um, I don't want to be too overstimulated at night. Um, it's also been like a really high stress time. And um, when you are in stress, when your body is under stress, emotional, physical stress, um, your body, your blood levels can turn toxic. Again, I'm not um, a health professional. Um, this is just research that I've done myself and I've got some background knowledge from um, education and dietetics and um, just like other miscellaneous things. I'm just really passionate about nutrition, um, even though I eat like garbage a lot. But um, when it comes to like, when it comes to your nutrition, um, it's, it's very interesting to see like how your body reacts, um, especially when you're receiving, um, or especially when you're consuming what your body actually needs. It's crazy how your body will heal itself. Um, anyways, so kill smoothie. I have that in the afternoon. Um, and then I will also have resveratrol. So I'm going to go get my resveratrol quick and I'm going to take that. Um, I'm trying to lower my supplements, like I said, um, to just things that, um, I, like to fill in the holes, right. Of my, of like, if I'm not consuming enough, um, greens or whatever it may be. Um, and I'm not getting, um, proper nutrition. All right. This is supper. Um, obviously the majority of my calories for the day. I will show you guys what my macros look like, my calories look like, everything like that for the end of the day today, but I just have a burger patty, Havarti, egg, a brat, and then some um, keto jalapeno poppers um, on the grill. All right, so to end today, um, also I drink these like sparkling ice things. They're not like the super greatest, they still um, spike your insulin, but um, they are zero sugar and um, do the job if you're like craving something just like a little bit sweet. But um, my macros for the day, so I try to stay between 15 and 1800 calories. I had 1812 for the day. Um, I have, I did not exercise today. So for breakfast I had two large eggs, so I had two eggs, a sausage patty, and then a slice of an orange, or the two slices of an orange. Um, and then, I had half of my kill smoothie that I showed Mom. you guys. My and then I had, um, and then for dinner. So dinner um, obviously was like my most calorie dense because breakfast I had 300 calories, lunch I had 266. Um, for dinner I had 1100 calories. Um, this is typically what my day looks like. I try, I try to spread my calories out, but I'm just not hungry enough until dinner time and then I'm super hungry. Um, which I think is because I'm used to intermittent fasting. Like um, when I was working, I wouldn't have breakfast and I would have broth for lunch. Um, and then for dinner, I would just have a big dinner. So I was used to eating like that. But anyways, um, I've got um, a brat on here, six ounces of raw ground beef. Um, I've got raw actually, well, you have to add it in raw, honey. You can't add it in cooked. So, I mean, I cooked the hamburger, okay? <laughs> You cooked it for me. Um, this says two large eggs, but I just said half of, half of that serving for one egg um, on top. I did not eat the whole egg either. I gave it to Kaya. Um, I had four um, poppers, which is a half a jalapeno. The reason why those are so high in calories is because of the cream cheese inside of them. There's about a half a tablespoon per thing. I should probably go back in here and see if this is correct, because that seems a little high. So I had a total of two tablespoons of cream cheese, and yeah, I'll, I'll have to fix this, but, um, and then I had a slice of Havarti on top of my burger, which I ended up, like, peeling off most of it, because it was just so much cheese. Told you guys, cheese is my downfall. Um, for a snack, I'm going to show you guys, um, I had a Jack Link's, um, beef steak, like a beef steak thing, um, I've got, like, boxes. Um, I've got like boxes of them in the cupboard and then after dinner tonight, I calculated in for a fat bomb Okay, so here's where I ended up at for the day. Um, I was under on my protein. I only got 114 grams of protein. I was at um, 47 minus 17. What is that? 31 net carbs for the day um, Which is pretty good um, only 15 grams of sugar um, my fat went above, but I'm okay with that because the majority of the fat that I got was um, was healthy fats. I stayed 
see what I mean? Like I stayed pretty well in, oh, I stayed pretty well in for um, my saturated fat. I only went over by one gram, um, but I'm assuming that this is from the saturated fat is from the egg that I had. Um, and then sodium was good. Cholesterol went over because of the egg. Um, and then potassium was only 900 milligrams. So my goal is to be at about 3,500 milligrams of potassium, which is why I'm taking supplements for potassium today um, since I didn't reach this. Um, vitamin A is good, C is good, calcium's good, iron is pretty good at 78 out of 100. So um, yeah, I am pretty happy with that day. It's not terrible, especially for being my first week. All right, you guys. Hair's up in the messiest bun. I look like such a mess. But um, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. So that's what I've been doing this week. That's what I've been doing for my new health routine. Um, I, like I said, I'm down um, about five, six pounds. Um, I'm down five, six pounds this week. Like almost six pounds, it's like 5.8 pounds this week. Um, with implementing these like new things. Um, again, this is like my go-to when I want to like, um, like lose weight and like really eat like whole nutrition and things like that like this is the diet that I go towards um, gluten-free sugar-free um, let's see what else gluten-free sugar-free and then just like whole vegetables what would you call it like paleo kind of whole thir whole 30 I don't know I just like common sense stuff right so um, we stay away from bread stay away from processed foods Elimin I've eliminated like any kind of like potatoes for the most part um, just like a lot of really fresh ingredients so anywho um, Yeah, and staying away from sugar. I mean just common sense stuff, but um, but yeah So and then I just make sure that my carbs are usually Usually 50 or less usually um, if they're above for some odd reason um, It's usually due to like having fruit in a in like in my smoothie or like at breakfast or something and I try to be lenient with myself Because like I said um, If I'm not losing weight because I'm eating too many oranges like there's a problem. There's something wrong with that so um I'm not like having massive amounts of like fruit and oranges and things like that. So Anywho, all right you guys well Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that, that you don't miss out on my um, future weight loss videos I will be doing um, some kind of like weekly check-in from here on out I hope you enjoyed this what I eat in a day to lose weight um, during lockdown quarantine isolation whatever in the world you want to call it um, this is what I'm doing to try and stay healthy and to nourish my body from the inside out. Um, again, I'm not a healthcare professional, um, but this is just what I do. Uh, seems common sense to me. A lot of these things, um, as far as like eating wise, is um, common sense to me. But uh, this is what I'm doing to lose weight right now. Kai is running away. Hopefully, I'll have some uh, events to look good for this fall. Um, and Kaya's in the backyard. I hope Mike's got that. <laughs> um, anyways, I, again, am not a healthcare professional. This is just what I am doing to lose weight. <sighs> so make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on my weight loss journey. I will be having another video coming up very soon um, talking about like my like weight gain, weight loss, like my whole like story um, um, and how much I have lost um, since not just starting this diet, but like since I've started my health like m movement in January this year. So, all right guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. Give the video a big thumbs up if you, if you liked it. Leave a comment down below. See you in a couple days. Okay, bye guys.